have you used the same period last year and realized it's giving you the wrong results? If you haven't watched this video, if you have, take a look and let's see if we can solve it. So welcome back to another edition of DAX Fridays, where we're going to take a look of when same period last year will give you wrong results. Unfortunately, I hope they will fix it because it's impossible to remember all these exceptions. But regardless, let me show you. So I have two tables. This slider affects only this table. This slider affects only this table. So you don't get confused, okay? So I have two measures here. So I have sales, normal sales. This is the Northwind data set, but I've modified it. So it's up to today's state. Okay, so we can exemplify the issue. So I have the sales. Sales is just sales. And then I have another column here that is same period last year. So sales, the same period last year. So whatever period I choose in here, this should give me the same value but last year. So I've picked a period from the 1st of, ja of January 2024 to the yesterday's date. So today is the 10th, so yesterday's. And it gave us that for this year, the sales were 34,000. For simply last year, it was 15,000. So I go and I check last year between the 1st and the 9th, and you can see that it matches. Now, if I go and pick the 10th, it says that it's 55,000. And if I go and pick here the 10th, it says that it's 15,000. So it's giving us the wrong result. And the question is always why? What was going on? The easiest way to find out what's going on is if you can figure out what this number here is. If we go to the documentation, nothing in here hints what the issue actually is. It says returns the table, shift it one year back in time, and it says this synthesis sugar for date add, and nothing really jumps at you. So what is it? Let me show you. So what you need to do is to try to figure out, okay, what can this 55,000 number be? Because if we're talking about same period last year, it has to be sales for last year in January. So could it be for the entire year? So if the entire month of January. So if I go and pick the 31st, there you go. So when he's picking the last day of the current calendar and going back one year, it thinks that it has the entire calendar for the entire month for this current year and it gives you the entire month for the previous year, which is absolutely hideous. And please fix this, it's just not okay. So now that you know that it, it only happens when it's the last day of the calendar, so otherwise you're fine. So now that you know that, you need to find a way to fix it. There are multiple ways you can fix this. One is actually a ugly trick. If you're not very good in DAX, you can actually go and do this. Let me show you. So what we could do is we could go to the calendar and then add a, an extra day. So today is the 10th, we're going to add the 11th to the calendar. <laughs> then we're going to create a custom column that will say, is today the 11th? I mean, today plus one, so next day. We're going to go to the calendar, we're going to create a new column, and it's going to be next day. So it's going to say, like this. So if calendar date, so if the date is equal to today plus one, that means tomorrow, <laughs> then true, otherwise false. And once we have that, we can actually go to the um, entire report and you say next day because you probably don't want to have this date anywhere in your report so you're going to say give me only for dates that are not tomorrow <laughs> and now they cannot pick it here because we have taken it away but you can see already that it's giving us the red, right results it changed to 15,000 so if I change here to the 10 it would be 15,602 so how horrible is that? Okay, there are other options. You can actually do it with DAX. So, and there are many ways you can do this with DAX. I'm going to show you one that is easy to understand. And just let me know what, what you use also. I'm just curious. So I'm going to get rid of these and be back. Oh, so this exemplifies that if you have a calendar with future dates, you will not have this problem. This problem will arise only 
when your calendar goes up to today's date, okay? So we are going to create a new same period last year manually. And this is one way to do it. Same period last year manually, for example. So what we need to do is actually pick what dates have been chosen on the slicer. And we're going to have a max date is going to be the max of the calendar date. That means that once somebody has picked this date range, this is going to pick the max of it. And then we're going to copy this. We're going to do the mean. And this is going to be obviously the mean. And this is going to be, give us the 1st of January up to the 10th of or whatever it is they've chosen. So the next thing that we're going to do is to get the start date, which is going to be, we need to format this state because it's required, we need to have it as a date when we're filled in the calendar. And then we're going to do year. And the year is going to be the max date. So give us the max date, take out the year, and then go back one year. And then we're going to do the month, right? And you do the month, and then you do the year. It's like easy. And then we need to do, well, this is actually not the start date, that's the end date, but because we're copying it, end date. This is the mean. This is the mean, and this is the mean. Right, and now we're going to do return. You don't need to create them as variables. You can just actually write everything, but it just gives an explanation of what it is. So it's not that bad if you want to do that. Calculate, and then we're going to have sales, and then we're going to filter the date calendar, so the calendar where the date, the calendar date, is going to be bigger than the minimum date, the start date. And it's also going to be calendar. I don't know why it starts at the end. That's just so annoying. There are quite a few things in Power BI that are just like, oh, please. End date. Okay, so, so now that we have it, let's give it a test. And as you can see, it's not giving us anything. And you may wonder, like, oh, what now? <laughs> well, think about it. We have this filter here affecting this visual. So it is, you're telling DAX, like, give me the sales for 2013, but filter by 2024. 2023, but for the 2024, you know what I mean? So we need to do one more thing, and it's that remove the filters of the slicer. That's what it all will do. And then put it in there, and then we get, as you can see, the correct values. You can do this in a million different ways. It's up to you what you choose. Uh, but it's extremely annoying. I think they need to fix this like as soon as possible. How are we going to remember all these exceptions that these tax functions have? Uh, but yeah, not going to run anymore. We are going to say, hope you had a wonderful holidays, whatever holidays you celebrated, and happy new year. And I will see you again soon.